predator hunting is a sport you can do in most states year round. Uh, predator control is an important part of deer management. Uh, quail, turkey, uh, bobcats and coyotes, they get a, get a lot of the young each year. So uh, it's a good sport to get into. Uh, myself, I have several farmers that, and ranchers that call me each year. You know, the coyotes are coming up messing with their dogs or it's calving season. They, uh, they ask me to come out and get after them. So it, uh, it gets you some access to some other places and it's a, you know, there's really nothing like watching a coyote come charging into a call. It's just a pretty exciting sport. Of course, I've been doing this for 30 years, you know, and I've, I've bought a lot of calls. And then uh, I have folks that send me calls from time to time to uh, do a little testing with them, and they'll, you know, get my opinion. I, uh, after you've done it a while, you know, you'll, you'll get comfortable with a sound that you like, and uh, I can... I can do that on quite a few of these different calls and make them sound pretty near the same, but uh, each one is a little unique and each one's got a place. These calls I've got on me here, uh, every one of them does a little something different that I, uh, I feel is necessary with me to be successful depending on the situation. What I, what I would probably do if it's really, really still, I'll start with a, you know, a quiet cottontail, raspy, I like raspy sounds, so I'll start with that, just. No. I'll call like that for 15 or 20 seconds, and then I'll sit and watch for a few minutes, and then uh, I'll repeat that. If uh, nothing shows up within Oh, seven, eight minutes. I'm probably going to go to a little louder call. Uh, same type of sound. I'm going to do a little more volume and just get a little more, a little more reckless with it. Just. If a coyote don't show up in 10 to 12 minutes, I'm, I'm thinking about the next spot that I'm going to most of the time. I, I'll, I'll go ahead and stay 15, you know, but I found that most of my coyotes are going to show up within three to seven minutes and occasionally 10. Uh, bobcats I'll set up and do just a little different, but uh, I usually end my stands, if I haven't seen one in 12 to 15 minutes, I'll, 12 to 13 minutes, I'm usually, uh, going to give him this kind of sound and uh, if there's one close a lot of times he'll stick his head out and come look at you. It's a kind of a hurt pup, hurt coyote sound. I put a few growls in there. What I'm trying to do is uh, let the kind of trigger maybe on a territorial thing from a coyote where he hears the uh, hurt prey sounds but he's for whatever reason not real interested. Maybe he's heard that sound before. So what I try to do is make a sound that sounds like a couple of coyotes kind of fighting over, over, over scraps of dead rabbit or whatever, and it something like this. And, uh, that works pretty well sometimes. And that's kind of, I mean, those three calls would be pretty much all you, all you need? Well, that's, uh, if it's first time to a spot, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Now, the next time I go out to that same area, I'm going to do a different sound. I'm, I may do a bird sound, and it'll, it'll sound something like this. Why do you switch it up or why do you do something different the next time you come out? Well, it, it doesn't take long for a coyote to become uh, accustomed to hearing a squalling rabbit and maybe associating that with a, with a, a human presence. Uh, I, uh, I'm of the belief that a lot of coyotes sit out there and never come and after you leave they come out there and they smell where you've been and they've played the game before. So uh, instead of doing uh, 
the jackrabbit sounds or cottontail sounds, I, uh, I'll do a bird or sometimes just slip in real tight in the cover and get close to them and maybe do a, a baby cottontail. It kind of sounds like this. Real, real simple, but real effective. And, uh, it's just uh, give them a different sound, kind of change up, but something they haven't heard before. Now, when do you use the house? Tell me about the it. house. I use it later in the year during the mating season they'll start breeding in late december and on to, into january and february i all i'll use it all year round usually it's my last stand of the day i'll uh, the coyotes will usually locate and uh, and they get a lo lot more vocal just as the sun's going down my last stand of the day i'll uh, just real easy little howl non-threatening just kind of let them know i'm there another coyotes in their area maybe trigger a uh, territorial type response and something like this. And after I after I locate like that from there then I'll uh, do a few jackrabbit sounds. You, what I do then, it's usually real late in the day. The sun may have already set. You know, it's it's getting late, and I'll do a few jackrabbit. And now, what I'm trying what I'm trying to do is say, okay, I'm a coyote in your area, and I'm eating your rabbit. And uh, usually, a, a coyote he he'll come in and check that out. Not always, but raise the level of aggression back to uh, now there's two coyotes over there eating your rabbit. And... <laughs> Just kind of play with their heads a little bit and kind of get into their head. And... Something that maybe not everybody's doing, you know. Uh... Nearly everybody blows a rabbit call. You just got to do a little something different from time to time. Yeah. Hand squeaking, uh, if it's very, very calm early in the morning and you're set up tight into the cover, you can do just a lip squeak. Just, I kiss the back of my hand. Some people can do it with their lips. And... A coyote, he can hear that 250 yards, maybe more. Anybody can do that. It's also very effective if a coyote hangs up, you've had one respond to your rabbit calls, do the lip squeaks, they'll come in. Uh, it's a killer on bobcats. Uh, a buddy of mine, he used it effectively last year. He'd sw it slip from uh, plum thicket to plum thicket, stayed up about 75, 80 yards from them, and uh, just do a lip squeak and call the cats right to the edge. Never blew a hand call, never Played an electronic call. He uh, just did it all with his hand. Two real nice big tomcats last year, one day.